Hi everybody, Sandy the Scrapologist here. Thank you for coming back to my channel if you're a return person and thank you for subscribing if you're new. Um, I'm. You can see this mess around me. Well, it's not really a mess. It's organized confusion, but I have 30 of these uh, of my pocket page um, things that I have to get out by tomorrow and so I'm doing that but I ran out of uh, I ran started to run low on words I I like to put little um, phrases from vintage book pages on these and I still have to put the tags in as well so I still have a lot of work to do but I thought I'd do a quick video on where I get my my phrases um, it, you don't have to spend a lot of money on on buying phrases. I cut mine all out of books, and when I am thrifting or at antique stores, there are certain things that I look for. One is definitely poetry, because if you can find a book of poetry, this is the Home Book of Verse for young folks. Very cute. Um, but what's the date on this? I think I determined this was not in the public domain. Oh yes, uh, no, 1929. So this isn't in the public domain, so I can't copy this and make a kit out of it and use it or anything. So I'm going to go through and just cut out some of the phrases. And that's one way that I get my... So I cut out... I cut out different phrases from from books and some of them are longer and some of them are just maybe a piece of a sentence. This says a dream entrusted to the soul of a human heart will bring forth its harvest a hundredfold. Just little you know and the older books are so poetic that even if it's not a poetry book oftentimes you can find um, you can just kind of skim through and find find quotes. Oftentimes, too, at the beginning of a chapter, you'll have, a, you know how some of the more modern books at the beginning of a chapter will have a, a little poem or a quote at the beginning of each chapter? I've cut those out, too. The one thing you want to watch for, I don't have an example with me, but I can show you on here, but sometimes in the older books, the spacing is very close together and that doesn't work as well. You need you need to have a little bit of space in between each line. So this is a book of poetry. This here I found four little books of speeches, the world's famous orations. So I haven't really gone through these too much yet, but I'm I'm thinking that I will maybe find some things out of these books. However, now that I have them, <laughs> I found out that a lot of the speeches, like here's, I just happened to flip to this. This is Raleigh, his last words on the scaffold. So this is his speech right as he was about to be hung. So um, I don't know how, how pleasant of topics are in here if I'm going to find anything in these but I also liked the size of these they're they're just so cute and there's four of them so I'm going to make journals out of out of these and probably ha sell them as a set or break them up into twos but because um, I got four of these the um, I got another really cool book from 1934 called Tony's scrapbook and this has, there's Tony, this has uh, just a variety of quotes and things that he apparently liked and um, just put them into a book. So I can just go through, here's one I just cut out, it's a little poem and because I need, I don't want an entire poem on here. Where'd my scissors go? What I'll do is cut out part of the phrase. So I took off my autofocus. So I hope you can see that. It says, there comes an hour when all is still, when soft lights linger on the hill. 
So I'm just going to cut that out. Oopsie. Ink it up a little bit. And my Fabri-Tac keeps bubbling up like that. It's starting to annoy me because I don't know why that's happening. Got to clean it off. Sorry. Give me a second. Okay. So let me just glue this on really quickly. Uh, now it doesn't want to come out. You've heard me say before how many, very many times that I hate glue. Glue hates me. I can't pick this up. There we go. Okay. So this is just going on my little pocket here. And see how nice that looks? And these are really cool for putting on tags, too. And let's see. A warmth and glow rise in our hearts, a soft impulse, the day departs. That will work. So I'll just go through and do that. Um, and just see what lines from these different poems I can, I can cut out. So that's all I do, and then, whoops, I got glue all over my desk. And then what I do is I just have this glass thing that has all my words in it. These are actual poems that I still have to cut up that I found in a book. And I just throw them in here, so when I need them, I, I can uh, pull them out, and I'm ready to go. So that's just a quick tip for you. I know that we're all looking for less expensive ways to to uh, you know to not have to purchase supplies all the time so if you have any old books around even modern books they don't have to be old books and if you have any unused books books that you've already read you want to get rid of books that you just find at the thrift store or in yard sales sit in front of the TV when you're relaxing some evening with your scissors and just sit and cut out different phrases and um, You'll, you'll have a bunch of these in no time. I just had to make 30 pockets today, and I made almost 50 last week, so I'm definitely running low on words. But I hope that's a helpful tip for you, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!